All right, let's jump right in. Sounds good. Today, yeah. we are going to be diving into a luxury trip okay. to Bali. Cool. Designed specifically for women. I love it. And not just any trip. Mm -hmm. This one's alcohol-free. Nice. Packed with cultural immersion, personal growth, yeah. and relaxation. You're listening to the Sisterhood Travels Podcast. Join us as we explore the world, share empowering stories, and build lasting friendships. Adventure is out there, and sometimes it comes with extraordinary sisterhood. This is really cool. I, yeah. I love this itinerary. Me too. What really catches my eye is how this trip caters to a growing demand for travel that's both mindful and inclusive. They agree. It's not just about sobriety. Right. It's about creating a comfortable space yeah. for women who simply prefer an environment where alcohol yeah. isn't the central focus. Yeah, you know, you're so right. Mm. I've heard from so many friends who are looking for exactly that kind of experience. Yeah. They want to connect with themselves yeah. and with other women yeah. on a deeper level all right. without all the distractions that can sometimes oh. come with a wow. party atmosphere. Right. Absolutely. And this itinerary really delivers. We're talking 12 days. Amazing. 13 nights, 25 meals. Okay. Private airport transfers. Nice. All the tours and excursions, luxury accommodations, and even some fun sisterhood travel swag. Thing. I love that. Yeah. And they've got options for everyone, mm -hmm. even solo travelers. Yeah. I love that they offer single occupancy rooms. Right. It's perfect for someone like me yeah. who loves to travel solo, mm -hmm. but doesn't want to sacrifice comfort or privacy. That's a huge plus. I think so. And speaking of comfort, yeah. let's dive into some of these incredible experiences. Okay, let's do it. One that really stands out to me is the visit to the Kim Women's Center. Oh, tell me about it. Okay. Getting to engage with local Balinese women, mm -hmm. learn about their crafts, yeah. and share a home-cooked meal with them. I love that. That's what I call authentic cultural exchange. Yeah. It's not just about observing the culture. Mm -hmm. It's about truly connecting with it on a personal level. It's those kinds of experiences that make travel truly transformative. I agree. And then there's the Turtle Water Temple. Oh, yeah. Just imagine okay. participating in a traditional water purification ceremony. Wow. Followed by a one-on-one -on -one session with a local shaman. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. It's a chance to tap into the spiritual energy of Bali mm -hmm. and perhaps even gain some insights into yourself. I love that. And... Can we talk about the lunch at a floating restaurant? Oh, yeah. In the middle of the Tagalog rice terraces? That's next level. Yeah, that's just next level dining. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't want to soak in those breathtaking views oh, yeah, of yeah. savoring delicious Balinese cuisine? Right. Yeah. And speaking of incredible meals, yes. how about having dinner with Janet Deneef? The queen of you would. She's a legend. I know. I've read her cookbooks. Yeah. Getting to meet her in person would be an absolute dream. It's a chance to hear first-hand stories about Balinese culture and life yeah. from someone who's been deeply immersed in it for years. Exactly. And of course, no trip to Bali is complete right. without a traditional Balinese blessing ceremony in a local village. Yeah. I feel like that would be such a powerful and moving experience. It's all about immersing yourself in the spiritual heart of the island. Yeah. And then for a bit of adventure, okay. they've included a private charter to Nusa Penida wow. for swimming, snorkeling, and exploring the islands. It's amazing. Stunning natural beauty. Talk about an Instagram-worthy day. I know. I know. You know, with all this talk of temples, mm -hmm. blessings, and island adventures, I'm starting to wonder about the pace of the trip. Mm -hmm. But looking at the itinerary again, yeah, it seems like they've really struck a beautiful balance yeah. between activity and relaxation. They have. There are multiple free days built in for you to just unwind at the luxurious resorts. Oh, that's music to my ears. Yeah. I definitely need those moments of downtime. For sure. To truly recharge and process all the mm. amazing experiences. Absolutely. And, and while the itinerary mentions a moderate activity level. Right. It does say there might be some inclines and stairs yeah. involved in the walking tour. So it's probably good to keep that in mind yep. well, if you have any mobility concerns. Yeah. But overall, it sounds like the perfect blend mm. of exploration, cultural immersion, and rejuvenation. Yeah. And you know what really seals the deal for me? 
So the fact that it's all alcohol free. Oh yeah. It really sets the stage for a more mindful so. and connected travel experience. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. I can already imagine the incredible bonds that will form within this group of women. I know. As they share these unique experiences and support yeah. each other's journeys. Exactly. It's about creating a space where vulnerability and authenticity can flourish. Mm -hmm. without the pressures or inhibitions that alcohol can sometimes bring. Right. And let's be real. Yeah. Sometimes a vacation is just about getting away from it all. Sure. And escaping those everyday pressures. Yes. Imagine waking up in a luxurious Balinese resort. I know. Surrounded by lush greenery. Yeah. Knowing that your only agenda for the day mm -hmm. is to relax and pamper yourself. <laughs> it sounds pretty idyllic, doesn't it? It really does. And the fact that you don't have to worry about planning any of it. Yes. That's the beauty of a well-organized group planning. trip like this. Yeah, you're right. They've taken care of all the details yeah. from the accommodations and transportation mm -hmm. to the meals and activities. Yes. All you have to do is show up, yeah. relax, yeah. and let the magic of Bali unfold around you. Speaking of magic, let's <laughs> dive a little deeper yeah. into some of those specific destinations and activities okay. that make this Bali luxury escape so unique. I'm excited. I'm particularly intrigued by the accommodations yeah. they seem to offer, a yeah. diverse range of experiences. Let's take a closer look. Okay. We know the trip starts yeah. at Kappa Senses Ubud. Right. A luxurious retreat nestled in the heart of Ubud's lush landscape. Yeah, beautiful. I'm already picturing myself waking up to yeah. the sounds of nature mm -hmm. and enjoying a peaceful morning yoga session mm -hmm. surrounded by tropical greenery. That sounds incredibly serene. <laughs> yeah. And then you move on to Wapadihume Sideman. Yes. A stunning hotel surrounded by rice paddies and mountains. Just imagine the views. It's like stepping into a postcard. Oh, I can only imagine. Yeah. And to top it all off, yeah. you end your journey at the Andaz Bali, mm -hmm. a five-star beachfront resort known for its luxurious amenities and stylish design. Yes. From jungle serenity to beachfront bliss. Yeah. They've really thought of everything. And throughout the trip, yeah. the itinerary seamlessly blends those relaxing moments yeah. with opportunities for cultural exploration and adventure. It does. It's that perfect balance we talked about earlier. Yeah. You can have a day filled with temple visits and cultural experiences and yeah. then come back to a luxurious spa treatment and a stunning sunset view. It's the best of both worlds, isn't it? It is. And let's not forget about the food. Yes. <laughs> from that floating restaurant in the rice terraces mm -hmm. to the home-cooked meal with local women at the Kim Women's Center. Yeah. The culinary experiences on this trip sound just as incredible as the sightseeing. 25 meals covering uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner throughout the 12 days. Amazing. They even handle the airport transfers, uh, porterage at hotels, and all the transportation between destinations. Nice. It's a truly all-inclusive experience, well, allowing you to relax and fully immerse yourself yeah. in the journey. Now for the question on everyone's mind. The cost. Uh -huh. We've been talking about all this luxury, yeah. five-star resorts, private charters, gourmet meals. Okay. It has to be pretty pricey, right? Well, luxury does come at a cost. Yeah, yeah. But considering everything that's included in this package, yeah. it's actually surprisingly reasonable. Yeah. For double occupancy, it's $8,999 per person. Wait, that's it? Yeah. For 12 days of luxury accommodations, mm -hmm. all your meals, mm -hmm. private transportation, mm -hmm. guided tours, mm -hmm. And these incredible once-in-a-lifetime experiences, yeah. that's less than $10,000. You got it. Wow. And if you prefer single occupancy, oh, it's yeah. $10,999. Okay. Still a fantastic value. Yeah. When you consider what you'd spend trying to arrange a similar trip on your own. And don't forget the added value of traveling with a supportive group. Right. And a knowledgeable group leader who knows all the best spots mm -hmm. and can handle any hiccups along the way, mm -hmm. the peace of mind is priceless. Absolutely. It takes all the stress out of planning. Yeah. And allows you to simply show up, relax, and soak it all in. Mm -hmm. This Bali Luxury Escape seems like an incredible opportunity for women yeah. seeking a transformative and enriching experience. I couldn't agree more. It's a pretty compelling package. It really is. Yeah. And you know what? I think it's time we take a closer look at the transformative potential oh, of this sorry. trip yeah. because it's about so much more than just sightseeing and relaxation. Yeah. It's about personal growth, mm -hmm. empowerment, and forging those deep connections right. that can truly enrich our lives. I love that. Yeah. I'm excited to dive into that. Me too. Okay, let's do it. 
it's easy to get caught up in the excitement of the itinerary. Right. But what really resonates with me mm. is the potential for inner transformation on this trip. Oh, absolutely. I yeah. agree with that. Yeah. It's not just about escaping your daily routine. Right. It's about coming back as a slightly different, mm -hmm. maybe even better yeah. version of yourself. I love that. And I think that potential for transformation yeah. is amplified by the fact that this is a women-only trip. There's something so powerful about traveling with a group of like-minded women. Yeah. Yeah sharing these unique experiences and supporting each other's journeys. Absolutely. It creates a sense of safety and yeah. vulnerability that allows for deeper connections mm -hmm. and more authentic self-expression. Right. And when you're surrounded by a group of women who mm -hmm. are all on a similar path of mm -hmm. self-discovery, it can be incredibly inspiring and empowering. Inspiring and empowering. Yeah. I can only imagine the conversations that will happen. I know. The stories that will be shared, wow. the laughter, mm. and maybe even some tears. For sure. It's like creating a sisterhood, mm -hmm. a space where you can truly be yourself right. without judgment or pretense. And think about how the alcohol-free aspect right. contributes to that sense of connection and authenticity. Exactly. It removes any potential pressure or awkwardness mm -hmm. and allows everyone to be fully present yes. and engaged in the experience. It's like taking away a filter, isn't it? It is. You're seeing yourself and others more clearly. Yeah. And you're able to connect on a much deeper level. For sure. And when you're not dealing with the effects of alcohol, right. you're more in tune with your senses, mm -hmm. your emotions, yeah. and the energy of the environment around you. You're more present for every sunrise, yeah. every interaction, right. every moment of beauty and wonder. Mm -hmm. And that presence, that mindfulness, right. is what allows for true transformation to occur. And remember, it's always a good idea to reach out to Sisterhood Travels directly. If you have any specific questions or concerns, mm. they're happy to provide more information and help you determine mm. if this trip is a good fit for you. Okay, I have to ask for someone who might be hesitant, maybe feeling a little intimidated by the spiritual aspects of this trip. Mm -hmm. What would you say to them? I would say come with an open mind and an open heart. Yeah. You don't need to be a spiritual guru or have any prior experience with meditation or Balinese traditions to benefit from this trip. It's about meeting yourself where you are and allowing yourself to be guided by the experiences. It's about embracing the journey, not just the destination. Exactly. And remember, you'll be surrounded by a supportive group of women who are all on their own unique spiritual paths. There's no judgment, no pressure, just a shared desire to connect, grow, and experience the magic of Bali together. Beautifully said. Mm. So as we wrap up this deep dive into the Bali luxury escape, I'm curious to hear your final thoughts. What is it about this trip that truly sets it apart from all the others? You know, for me, it's that unique combination of luxury cultural immersion, personal growth, and spiritual exploration, all wrapped up in an alcohol-free environment that fosters a deeper sense of connection and authenticity. It's a trip that nourishes the mind, body, and soul. I couldn't agree more. It's an invitation to escape the ordinary, embrace the extraordinary, and return home feeling transformed. And who knows? It might just inspire you to keep seeking out those transformative experiences in all aspects of your life. Now that's a thought worth pondering. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the Bali luxury escape. It's been a pleasure exploring this incredible journey with you. The pleasure was all mine.